Hi, I'm Donnie Peterson and this is Biker TV Techline. Uh, I've owned uh, heavy duty cycles here in Toronto for 30 years and I've been the Techline editor for American Iron Magazine since 1989. How often do you change your oil filter? Um, you change it every time you change the oil and uh, it's a very good idea and it's money well spent. I can't tell you the number of engines we've had in here over the years that uh, people spent needless money repairing them all because they did not change this item here. On the older Harleys like the pan heads or the knuckle heads they sometimes used a camel hair oil filter like this as did the shovel heads. Camel hair uh, just refers to the type of material it's better than nothing, but it's not very good. It stops small rocks, basically. Plus, the canister it sits in, a lot of the oil will flow around it as opposed to through it. Now, what you can do with these filters is you can go to an aftermarket one that has pleated paper inside it. This increases the uh, square inches of, uh, of filter material that the oil flows through and very much improves the filtering capacity of these older bikes. Now we get into an Evolution one. These are canister type uh, filters. Now I'm going to take one of these apart. And this is what the, the paper fiber uh, looks like. Now the twin cam filter, uh, it filters oil 10 microns or greater. And it's really uh, a synthetic media as opposed to, to paper. The surface area is what's important. The K&N, for example, has 164 square inches of filtering material. A Fram has 101 square inches, and the Harley-Davidson filter has 63 square inches. So you can see that while the Harley oil filter is an excellent filter, there are ones in the market that would have uh, greater square inches of filtering material. While I've got this apart, I'm going to show you something. After you've changed your oil, you can cut your oil filter open and be careful not to cut your hands. And you fold it out like this, just like an accordion, and you hold it up to a bright light or to the sun. Now you'll be able to see any particulate that's been filtered out, and you'll be able to diagnose what's going on inside your engine. Now suppose you see shiny specks through it. That means that's hardened case metal, and that becomes like from bottom end bearings, that sort of thing. If there's dull flex, that would be metal again, but the softer metal, such as uh, the aluminum off the piston or the uh, softer metal off the inside of the, uh, the cylinder wall. Now, if you've struck gold and you see lots of gold, well, that's from uh, brass uh, and bronze bushings. Now, it'll be normal to see a little of all of this stuff. But if you start seeing buildups of it or uh, lumps of it, and uh, then you know you have serious problems inside your engine. So this is just a good check to do every time you do a filter change because you're really diagnosing the inside of an engine. And we do this here at Heavy Duty on a, on a normal basis, and that's how come we know what's going on inside your engine. And this is Donnie Peterson signing off from Tech Line on Biker TV, and we'll catch you next time around.